this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's a lovely world. And today is very exciting because it's Christmas Eve in Stampy's lovely world, which of course means that it's Christmas Day tomorrow, and I am very, very, very excited. Are you excited for Christmas, Esther? Of course you are. Everyone's excited for Christmas. Actually, someone who must not be that excited is Lee. Lee is still not home. Lee went away on a bear picnic and he's not come back yet, which means he won't be here for Christmas. And I am upset about that, but I will not let it ruin my day. We're going to hopefully uh, have some fun anyway. And uh, let's start off by doing what I always do, uh, heading to the love garden and adding someone to it. And today I am re-adding for the third time Santa. Basically, I keep trying to add Santa, but I keep spelling his name wrong. You can see last year I spelt it Santa, and the year before that I spelt it Stanta, and so this year I'm determined to add the right amount of A's and the right amount of T's and get them all in the right place. So let's uh, try and concentrate then. So uh, C A N T A. There we go. That's right, isn't it? A N T A. That should be right. There we go. I have finally added Santa to my love garden 100% correctly. Now, no one is going to tell me off for my bad spelling. Anyway, let's go and get things ready for the big day tomorrow. And, oh, wait, wait a minute. Hello, Barnaby. Since when did you come down here? Um, okay. Well, it looks like you can go and join me and uh, help me get things ready uh, for tomorrow. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to go down to my library uh, where my fireplace is. And I want to leave out uh, a few treats. Uh, for Santa and his reindeers and uh, I've also put my little stocking down there as well I always leave my stocking down here uh, there we go you can see it says down here Mr. Stampy Cat uh, so hopefully tomorrow uh, there'll be a few presents in there but anyway uh, let's leave out some treats for Santa and his reindeer so here we've got some apples uh, we've got one for Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Flixen and of course Rudolph there we go eight lovely apples and for Santa himself we've got a glass of milk and this cookie which was actually given to me by Lee uh, he left it for me as he went away, but seeing as I'm uh, more of a cake person rather than a cookie person, uh, I'm sure Lee won't mind uh, if I pass that off to, to Santa, uh, who I know is very partial to uh, a few cookies. <laughs> uh, anyway, up here in the clubhouse, uh, as always, I've left out some stockings down here. Uh, one for Harriet, one for Harrison, uh, one there for Hilda and Henry, and then for all the doggies and uh, as well as mittens as well. So hopefully uh, Santa is going to fill up those stockings, and he normally uh, leaves me some big presents uh, outside of this room as well. So hopefully Hopefully, uh, we're going to get a few big presents as well. Anyway, Barnaby, let's go to sleep because as soon as we wake up, it is going to be Christmas Day. I always want to go to sleep as soon as I can uh, on Christmas Eve uh, because the sooner you go to sleep, the sooner it is going to be Christmas Day. And as you can tell, I am very excited. So, Barnaby, uh, do you want to sleep in my bedroom tonight? Uh, rather than going back to the doghouse, do you want to come in? Nope, you're just going to stand there. Where, where, where are you off to, Barnaby? That, this isn't the way to my bedroom. Where, where are you going, Barnaby? There's nothing up here. Right, fine. If you don't want to sleep in my bedroom, you can go and sleep just about here then. <laughs> and in the morning, I'll come up and then you can join me again. So here we go. I am now going to go to Betty Buys and in the morning, I'm going to enjoy all of my Christmas festive uh, activities. We can see uh, the sun is just about setting there behind uh, uh, Frosty Longnose Junior. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I'm going to go to sleep and in the morning uh, I'm going to enjoy Christmas Day and I have a feeling that this year is going to be a good one and oh I don't need this egg no eggnog for me <laughs> right let's go to bed and get ready for Christmas Day good night <sighs> ah morning there we go that was a, a quick sleep and it is now Christmas Day whoop, 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 whoop. Christmas Day Christmas Day Christmas Day Christmas Day <laughs> oh, I literally can't contain my excitement Barnaby Barnaby! Merry Christmas, Barnaby! It's Christmas Day, Barnaby! It's Christmas Day! It's Christmas Day! Right, right, uh, what should we do first? What should we do first? Um, uh, let's go check on the stocking! Should we go check on the stocking? Shall we see if I've got any presents from Santa? Oh, I hope I do. I hope Santa's been this year. Last year, uh, we had a few problems with Santa, and I need to, I uh, needed to, to help him out. But hopefully, uh, everything has gone well this Christmas. And, oh, oh, look, the cookie is gone. So is the milk and the apples. This is a good sign that Santa's been here. And in the chest, oh, there's a, a CD, I think, a music disc. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Oh, he got me a Christmas song. Oh, that's very nice of him. That's a, a different present to, to what I haven't had before. Uh, later on, uh, when we have the uh, the Christmas party, uh, I can put that on and we can uh, uh, listen to a, a few of my tunes. Um, uh, while I'm here, though, 
I should probably start cooking the, the Christmas chicken. I'm going to go and put that here in the furnace. That can go and start cooking. And uh, then when everyone shows up for the, the Christmas party, uh, we can have something to eat. And I might even give some, some food to you as well there, Barnaby. <laughs> anyway, let's go and see if um, uh, let's go and see if Santa got any presents for anyone else. Let's go and uh, have a look at all of the, the stockings under the tree. So here's uh, Harriet. Uh, has Harriet got anything? Oh, what's this? Oh, a hat. A nice purple hat for Harriet. And Harrison has got a book, I think. History of Eyebrow Grooming. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sure he's going to enjoy that. And uh, Hilda's got all oh, a lovely flower. She loves her flowers. Uh, Henry's got some oh, some tasty pumpkin pie. Good presents this year. And for the doggies, uh, lots of bones and lots of pork chops. One each for all of the, the doggies. And uh, Mittens has fish. Lots and lots of fish. Oh, everyone is going to be so happy. Later on, uh, we can go and uh, deliver everyone their presents. And let's go and uh, have a look outside here. And oh... Oh look, I got big presents. Who's this from? From Greeny Longhead. Who's Greeny Longhead? Um, okay, I'm not entirely sure who this is from. Choo Choo maybe? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's go and see. Oh look, there is a chest here. Um, an arrow. Um, I've already got a few arrows, but okay, I guess arrows are, are always useful for taking out googlies. And from Slippery Blue Face. Do, do I have any slippery friends? Any blue slippery friends? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not. I'm not sure who this is from. Very weird presents. And oh, a bit of TNT. I suppose TNT is kind of useful. A bit of a strange thing to get someone for for Christmas. And what's this? From an old friend. Hmm. I wonder who this present could be from. And ah! It's hit the target. Hit the target was hiding in the present. He's attacking me on Christmas. Oh no, he's not me back. Come on, Barnaby. Hit the target. He's trying to attack us again. We need to get him. And where, 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 where did he go? Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone down this hole. Well spotted, boy. Right. You need to try and sniff him out if you can. We need to track him down. We need to find where. Oh, oh, a creeper. There's a creeper, Barnaby. Watch out. Okay. You go after hit the target. I am gonna go and try and deal with this googly. I do not have time to deal with you today. I have bigger fish to fry. Oh no, he's gonna blow up. He's gonna blow up. There we. Go. I was able to take out the creeper now to try and take out hit the target and what what is this place down here is that <gasps> I think that's Lee bear Lee bears down here in a cage and Lee are you are you baking are you baking cakes in here what's hit the target made you do and look at Barnaby Barnaby's in the cage as well I need to try and break them out somehow but what's this pull to release lava oh no hit the target set up a lava trap if i try and attack him he's gonna burn the entire place down i can't let that happen oh no look how much barnaby's panicking i'm panicking out here as well i don't know what to do i don't have a plan i don't have any weapons i thought i was gonna have a peaceful christmas this year i didn't expect this to happen oh no hit the target's coming after me he's slowly coming closer i don't know what to do i need some type of miracle and what 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 who's that that's one of my lunar friends. One of my lunar friends that I met on the moon has just jumped down and it's standing in between me and hit the target. I think it's trying to, to help me out. And look, behind, another one. Uh, the other one of my lunar friends just dropped down. Aha, look, it's three against one. We can take him out. And look, oh look, hit the target's dropped his bow. Right, here we go. I can now go after him. There is nowhere for you to escape to this time. Hit the target. And oh no, he's gone through a hidden place in the painting. There was a hidden passage. Right, no worries. I can now try and break out Lee Bear and Barnaby. Uh, Barnaby uh, should be able to crawl underneath these bars. And if I punch this bar really, really, really hard and really fast, I should be able to break it. And then Lee Bear will be able to escape. I can't believe hit the target it would attack me on Christmas. This is supposed to be such a happy day, but hopefully I'm going to be able to go after him. Right, come on, I've nearly broke the bars, and there. There we go, Lee. You can get out now. I am going to go after hit the target. You guys stay here. I don't want any of you getting hurt. Right, through the painting. Oh, what is this? There's a secret passage, and there he is. There he is. Right, I can finally go after him. This is the tunnel he tried to escape from before. Right, you're not getting away this time, hit the target, and oh, he's gone. Oh, he hasn't got away, has he? Where's he gone to? I can't see him anywhere. What's that sound? There's a weird hissing sound coming from somewhere, but I can't see where. And whoa! What was that? There was a really loud bang. Where did that come from? In the sky. Look, it's hit the target flying through the sky. He must have launched himself out of some sort of cannon or something. Why does he always have such good escape plans? And where's he gone? Is he still down there? I think he's under the water somewhere. He's got to surface. Oh no, where is he? Oh, I'm never going to be able to catch him now. He's escaped again. Ah, oh, he always has some sort of back up plan to escape. Are you okay, Barnaby? Oh, that was terrifying. I can't believe hit the target, attacked us on Christmas Day, but luckily, I don't think anyone got hurt, and I am not letting this ruin our Christmas Day. He tried to attack us, he tried to steal my dogs yet again, but we were able to foil his plan. And Lee Bear, I can't believe you're back safe. I missed you so much. I'm so sorry I didn't try and rescue you. I thought you went on a picnic holiday, and my lunar friends, what's your story? I thought you might be working with hit the target after you picked him up in 
in your UFO. Us picked up hit the target when I saw him falling. Hit the target said he wanted to do a surprise for Cat. Us agreed to help in return for tasty cakes. Us did not know Bear was being forced to make the cakes. Us thought we were being nice for Cat. Us are very sorry. That's okay, hit the target tricked you, it's not your fault. Please accept another Luna Cheese Apple for us to apologize to Cat. Ah, oh, thank you, these things are amazing. I remember the one you gave me last year was actually able to heal Santa. This is fantastic. And, oh, Lee, give them some cakes. Here you go. As a present from us here, you can have some cakes to take back to the moon with you. And, oh, actually, before you go, would you like to celebrate Christmas with us? Us must head back to the moon now. But us will visit Cat next year. Thank you for the cake. Bye, Cat. Okay, bye Luna friends, goodbye, have a safe trip home, thanks for dropping by, and oh, thank you for my Luna cheese apple. Well then, Lee, that was exciting, wasn't it? Oh, I'm so glad to have you back, I missed you and your cake so, so much. <laughs> ah dear, but let's not try and spend all of Christmas inside of this horrible dungeon that was built by Hit The Target. I am glad that he has finally left us alone, and I'm sure that he is going to be back eventually, but as always, we are going to be ready to, to face him again, but we're not going to worry about him for now, we are going to enjoy the rest of our Christmas day and we are gonna have lots of fun I've got a chicken in the oven and where uh, we all got presents as well uh, we got presents under the uh, the Christmas tree and what should we do first I know what Lee how about we go around and deliver everybody's presents to them Santa left them all under the tree over here uh, so we can go and deliver them personally to all of our friends so uh, let's go and uh, get them all from the stocking so Harriet uh, got herself a lovely purple hat we're going to give that to her Harrison of course got his books on the history of eyebrows <laughs> There's a, a lovely, lovely jubbly here for Hilda. Uh, Henry got a tasty looking pumpkin pie. And then all of my doggies got a big collection uh, of bones and pork chops we can take to them. And uh, then Mittens, of course, got loads and loads of fish. So what we can do uh, is go around to everyone and uh, deliver them their presents. So uh, who shall we go to first? Uh, uh, seeing as we're close to Henry and Hilda, uh, let's go and say Merry Christmas to them and uh, deliver Santa's presents to them. Uh, Henry, Hilda, hello guys. Merry Christmas, Hilda. Merry Christmas. Christmas Henry. Henry, of course, sitting on his favourite seat. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, Santa got a lovely, tasty pumpkin pie for you, Henry, so you can have that for Christmas. And uh, of course, not forgetting you, Hilda, you got a lovely, jubbly love, love petals. There you go. Do you like it, Hilda? Nope, you don't like it. <laughs> just going to walk away from it. Um... Okay, well, we'll just leave it in the room and hopefully uh, she's going to go and uh, check it out. Maybe she just wants a bit of privacy with her present. <laughs> ah, dear. Anyway, uh, let's now go and head to... Oh, let's go to Duncan and Mittens. Uh, Duncan and Mittens are actually spending Christmas together inside of Frosty Longnose, my very big snowman over here. So let's go say Merry Christmas to them and deliver their presents. And ah, oh, this is nice. Oh, look, they've decorated the place. You look like you're having a lovely Christmas. There you go. You can have a pork chop, Duncan. And Mittens, you can have all of these lovely, tasty fish. And oh, okay cake as well. Uh, don't mind if I num num. <laughs> oh, I don't a little bit. And oh, oh no, I picked up all of the fish again. There you go, Mitten. Sorry, didn't mean to steal your Christmas. Bye guys, have a good Christmas. Uh, right, on to, uh, on to Harrison's Hill then, shall we? Let's go uh, up to the hill and uh, let's go and deliver the, uh, the present to Harrison, shall we? And of course, Harrison uh, lives inside of the hill and I am sure he is going to love uh, his book about the history of eyebrows. Who wouldn't love a book about the history of eyebrows? So uh, if I pull this lever, I can now go inside here and uh, wish him her a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What are you doing standing on the desk like that? I have a present from Santa for you. Look, I got this lovely book about the history of eyebrows. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy uh, reading it. And uh, come, look, look at me a second, Harrison. Let me just, um, let me just see. Ah, there we go. You have some lovely eyebrows. Maybe one day you could be in the book. <laughs> ah, dear. Anyway, goodbye, Harrison. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas. It was good to see you. And uh, that's almost all of the the presents delivered. Who else do I need to deliver to? We did uh, Henry, Hilda, Duncan, Mittens, and uh, Harrison. Oh, Harriet, the newest member to my lovely world family. And uh, Harriet doesn't actually have a home yet. And she kind of just wanders around my town uh, going in all of the uh, the different shops. She is a shopaholic. She is not happier uh, apart from when she's uh, inside of shops. <laughs> and so uh, what we need to do uh, is go and try and track her down. We need to go and uh, see which shop she is spending her Christmas in and uh, go and deliver her her present from Santa. Uh, is she inside of the clove shop? Um, I can't see her in her. Maybe inside of the pick a pet shop. There she is. She's spending Christmas with the animals and yay! She looks like she's in the 
Christmas spirit, jumping up and down on the cake and num num num. <laughs> Just gonna have a, a novel couple slices again. Uh, anyway, Harriet, look what I have for you. And oh no, looks like I've picked up a load of the, the other presents again. Oh well, I deliver them again later. But Harriet, for you, I have a lovely purple hat. That is from Santa, so you can enjoy that. And there we go, Lee threw you down some nice milk there as well. You can enjoy that. <laughs> uh, anyway, Harrison, we hope you have an amazing Christmas. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. So goodbye, Harriet. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas day. Right then, Lee, let's go and have our Christmas dinner, shall we? If we head up to the... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Who's that? Who are these people? It's Santa! It's Santa! And Rudolph is here as, as well! And, oh no! Santa's not well! <gasps> Santa's been poisoned! Why is Santa poisoned? Oh, I think I know! He had that cookie! I left him that cookie that I thought Lee left for me, but it must have been left for me by Hit the Target, and it must have poisoned! Hit the Target must have been trying to poison me! We need to try and cure Santa! What can we do to cure Santa? What can I give him? <gasps> the Luna Cheese Apple! The Luna Cheese Apple that the aliens gave to me! I was gonna have it myself, but Santa needs it more than me. Here you go, Santa. You can have this Luna Cheese apple, and hopefully it's going to heal you again. It worked last year. Is it going to be able to heal Santa? Come and eat it up. And has it worked? It's worked! Santa has been healed. Yes, I was able to save him again. And thank you for all of your lovely presents, Santa. I've actually just been running around the town and giving them to everyone. And would you like to join us for Christmas? <gasps> you would. You want to join us for a Christmas celebration? Okay, let me just go first uh, into the dog house and I can deliver the dogs all of their presents. I've got lots of pork chops and uh, lots of bones to give to them. And oh, they're all sitting around a cake in here. They're all having their, their own little Christmas party. Right then, dogs, we have lots of pork chops and uh, lots of bones for all of you. And tell you what, rather than leaving you all sitting down here in the doghouse, how about you come up with us to the clubhouse and you can join in, in the party. I don't think I take all of my dogs with me enough. So come on, you can all stand up and we can all head up to the uh, the clubhouse together and we can have an exciting Christmas party. Uh, you too, Santa. You too, uh, Rudolph. Uh, you can come and join us uh, in a second. Right, Lee, we need to get things ready. And the chicken. I forgot about the chicken. It's been in the oven all day. Oh no, hopefully I haven't burned the chicken, but it shouldn't matter too much. Luckily, Lee Bear's back now, and he's a much better cook than I am, and so if I have ruined the Christmas dinner by burning it, he can hopefully make some nice tasty cakes and we can eat that instead, but hopefully the, the Christmas chicken's gonna be okay, and it's a little bit golden. It might be a bit crispy on the edges, but it seems okay. And, uh, excuse me, excuse me, dogs. Can I get through here? I'm trying to, to get to the clubhouse. We are ready to begin the Christmas celebrations! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and um, I've just realised I never actually told Santa and Rudolph where the clubhouse is. I kind of just ran away from them. Oh well, hopefully they're going to come and join us anyway. And we have the dogs and I of course have Lee Bear and I'm so happy to have you back, Lee Bear. I have missed you so much while you've not been here. This just wouldn't have been Christmas without you. And to think I thought you were away having a picnic but you were kidnapped by Hit the Target and forced to make cakes. And I know you do enjoy making cakes but you'd much rather make them for me rather than him, wouldn't you? Ah, <laughs> oh dear, but luckily you were able to return by Christmas and I will look after you much more now. And uh, let's have some, let's have some Christmas dinner then, shall we? So uh, I got some pork chops and things. Uh, tell you what, Barnaby, would you like to, to eat some Christmas pork chops? And I have my, my slightly burnt chicken here. Uh, Flippy, you can have the chicken rather than me eating the burnt chicken. You can enjoy it. And uh, you can have some, some nice tasty pork chops as well. And oh, 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 I think I might get a puppy. I think I might be getting a new dog. I got a new dog. Oh, it's a little girl puppy. Oh, it's so cute. I got a new dog for Christmas. Oh, it's so adorable. And yay, Rudolph and Santa are here. Look, Santa. Look, I got a new puppy. I'm going to call her Luna. I'm going to call her Luna after my Luna friends that saved the day. I think that is a very fitting name for a dog. So, Luna, welcome to Stampy's Wolf Pack. And oh, why don't I put my music CD on? Here, Santa. I'm putting on the, the music CD that you got me. Yay, we got some lovely Christmas music playing. Ah, uh, this is more like it. This is a Christmas party. Having a Christmas party with Santa himself and Rudolph and all of my dogs and Lee Bear. What more could I ask for? This has been an absolutely fantastic Christmas inside of Stampy's lovely world and I hope that all of you watching this video are having a fantastic Christmas as well. No matter who you are, how old you are, where you are in the world, no matter what you're doing today, I hope you had a very, very, very Merry Christmas uh, from me, Stampy. But sadly, we have just about run out of time in this episode here, so I want to end by once again wishing you an extra, extra Merry Christmas, and I thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!